and you're going to get your ass kicked. Well, in the 21st century, you do the ass kicking on air. Well, that's at least where you started. So this is a war. We mean business. We may get destroyed in this fight. We don't care. We're committed. That's the end of it. Support us. Infowars.com forward slash money bomb or 888-253-3139. Stand with us. Back to Larry Nichols. Pluto's had your, your I guess that's an English bulldog. I think I forgot. Nah, that's Ralph. This was Pluto the Black Lab. Oh, okay. Uh, I got a cast of characters here. Oh, I love them. All right, so please continue uh, with what you were breaking down about Obama and Hillary. You said that first months ago. Now it's in the news uh, that Obama's mm -hmm. after Hillary, and she's even attacking Obama now. Yeah, you. here's what you will watch. Here's what's coming. They're following our playbook this time exactly, Alex. She's going to start the tearing tour. Now, when Hillary goes out, she's going to tear up. We used to have to tell Hillary to get her to show any kind of emotion. Think of the worst thing. Think of the day your puppy died. Didn't have a puppy. Oh, okay, fine. Think about the day your grandmother died. I didn't like her. Okay. You know, good God, Hillary, there's got to be something that'll make you have some emotion. There really wasn't. So they've got to train her. And Hillary's problem, Alex, as you know, Hillary's not a good actor. Those people up on that stage, the politicians in Washington that rise to the top, they're good actors. They're not real people. They're good actors. But she will win. When this race is done, starting this week, you'll start seeing some of the Republican candidates start dropping out. Why? When you're running one, two, three percent, it's hard to go to a big donor and say, would you put a hundred thousand in my campaign? They're not going to do it. They'll start going broke and they'll start dropping out. States rights is where we've got to fight, Alex. I've just made a, a DVD for a company and they said, well, what do we need to do? I talked today, Alex, to a governor's person in Oklahoma. I'm not going to say her name, but to a legislator and a governor there about a state taking and claiming its rights but to go to hell. I'm sorry about the way I sound. This is not one of my better days. No, brother, I'm the same way. I, I actually was out swimming in the lake with my kids and got a double ear infection myself. I've been coughing up blood, so we appreciate you being on air today with us. Well, it's it's. Here's what's coming, and I don't want to say it, Alex, and I don't even know if I'll make it until it comes at the rate I'm going right now. I'm sitting here looking at a stack of medical bills a foot high. That makes you feel real good this time of night. But here's what's coming. Obama's going to have Sharpton move into high gear. You're going to start seeing more and more race problems in major cities. At the same time, you're seeing this killing police. And then every time the police defend themselves or try to do their job, execute it. And what Obama's playing for, he's playing for the day the police say to hell with you. And what happens when they do that, Alex? What happens like Baltimore? What if the police had just said to hell with you? The people would beg for the government to come in and protect them. And let me assure you, folks, when when crazies are running up and down your street, pick weapons and killing people on your block, you know what you're going to do? You're going to beg for help. And you've got the old federal government sitting right there, and Posse Kumatatis won't mean a thing. We'll be in submission. So Obama knows it. And Obama's not planning on leaving, Alex. I mean, show well, me. Well, you know, I would have never thought that, that Larry. Leave. Larry, I would never have thought that, but. Because, you know, it's a Democratic Party. It's it's a power system. He's a puppet, but maybe not. It's bold for Soros to spend $33 million in one town and his own operative showing up yelling a bunch of white kids to start it up a year ago, deck the halls with dead cops. And the funding and the communists are suddenly in the streets everywhere I go. And it's written on bathroom walls where I, you know, <coughs> the town I live. And people come up to me and say, how dare you not be for killing the cops? And I'm like, listen, there's some bad police. There's some problems. I'm against bad policies. But... You start going around killing police randomly, the whole civilization is going to collapse. We're going to have martial law. Evil people that just overthrew Ukraine are trying to overthrow America. Don't you get it? I mean, these people are so stupid.
You know, Alex, that's what I don't understand. Why can't people open their eyes? Look around, folks. Alex, if I'd have told you five, I've said this a few times, if I'd have told you five years ago, you know, Alex, these old people that are mentally sick, these kinds that are, they call themselves some kind of trim gender kind. You don't know if they're male, female. They can't figure it out. If I'd have told you five years ago we were going to build special bathrooms in elementary and junior high schools for those people to have, what would you have said? I'd have said you're crazy. Exactly. Five years ago, if I'd have told you, Alex, we're going to, I tell you what, we're just going to do away with boys and girls. There's not going to be any boys department store aisle for the boys' toys, girls' toys. There's not going to be girls' bathrooms. Target's now done that? What would you have said? I'd have said you're talking about uh, just total craziness. We are totally crazy. And we see a debate tonight, and none of these fundamental issues are brought up. None of them. Imagine if somebody would have said, this is social engineering, putting in transgender bathrooms and saying, ban the word boy or girl. We need to get back to just basics in this country. And the federal government shouldn't have Michelle Obama telling our kids what to eat. It's time for states' rights to come back and the president to cut taxes and get out of the way of the states and the people. And it's time to stop funding radical Islam. There'd have been a hooray across America. Right. But those candidates showed... They're all on a very short leash vying for that power position. And you know why, Alex? You said it a little while ago. You said it a little while ago. The same money people, the same five, maybe seven, maybe ten ultra, ultra wealthy people control every one of those campaigns except maybe Trump. Control every one of them. And if they step out of line at this point, you know what? Their funding will be cut. They'll be out of the race. It's it's sick. And then, Alex, how can anybody look at Obama and not believe that he's truly trying to become the global leader of Islam? Just look at the Iran deal. Treaty, I used to hear Glenn Beck and, and World Net Daily say it five, six years ago, and you say it, and I thought they're nuts. And now you look at the evidence, that's all you can come up with. He's not, you he, he's not stringing them along to set them up. In some clash of civilizations, he's turning everything over, including non-radical Muslim nations, to the most murderous, crazy people I've ever seen. I mean, since when? Or he's setting America up to be the bad guy because it's all coming out. What do you make of the military coming out and saying we're running al-Qaeda and ISIS and it's horrible? I mean, it, it, is that positive news or what does that mean? It means the military's had it. It means they've had it. You know, Obama's done everything he can to purge every person out of the military that might stand for America. I'm going to give you a news bulletin. Are you ready? And I got it from my friend in Israel, Netanyahu. Do you know what part of the deal in Iran nobody knows yet? You want to know it? They've made a deal included in the Iran deal Obama and Kerry are negotiating with ISIS. They are negotiating a unified agreement between Iran and ISIS. Now, folks, <clears throat> let me tell you what's going to come of that. That's moving Obama one step closer to the ultimate global leader of Islam. Alex, think about what the people in the Middle East, think about all, what all the mohairs are thinking. Seriously, what do you think they think about Obama? They think he's the greatest thing that ever came since, what, magic carpet, I guess. They're sitting there and they're saying that guy is some kind of Allah or reincarnated or something. The Mahdi. The Mahdi, exactly. Obama has made a sinister deal. See, see, just a year ago, I wouldn't have bought this. I wouldn't have bought this, but they're flooding Europe. They're saying kill cops. They're saying you can't say boy or girl. They are shutting down our power plants. I mean, the people running this country hate us. They are out to get us. They are. I just can't Remember? believe it. I just can't believe what, I mean, what type of psycho scum? You've been around these people, but, but I mean, they weren't even that bad back then. Have they gone crazy? In my day, bad guys would look good today. Bad guys today, bad guys back then, honestly, Alex, would be heroes today, if you can believe that. Remember this term, Akbar Alameen. 
talk about it, let me. And what they're doing with this flood of immigrants that are going all over Europe, that's the spread. They're moving in. They're setting up caliphates, buddy. I by all I mean is when they spread, when they spread and they get into, a more, you know, the first one comes in, well, gosh, he's a great little Muslim. You know what? They're just really nice people. We could probably let another one in. Well, then in comes another one. Well, you know, they're just really nice people. But read the Quran, folks. One day, every Muslim, one day, is going to come to where what they call the river divides. And you either go to Allah heaven or Allah hell. Three times in the Quran, it says peace, love, dope. You got it? Three times. Seventy some odd times, it says try to convert the infidel. Three times. And if he don't, kill him. You know, they got a great PR campaign. Look what they did in Africa, Alex. Convert to Islam or die. Christians can't say that. We can't grow Christianity by saying either you believe in Jesus Christ, we're going to cut your head off. They're growing. And we in America have become cowards. What are we going to Why do? Why are you Alex? being racist against people saying, I'm going to kill you if you don't convert to my religion? That's I liberal and I trendy. I just can't. I know it. I just can't help it. Let me ask you this, Alex. I'm going to pose this question for you. Dearborn, Michigan, you know, has got a huge population of Muslims. They even do that little wacky thing, you know, every time at the day where they do the prayer out on the loudspeaker. Tell me exactly what would happen, Alex, if tomorrow morning we wake up in Dearborn, Michigan, the Muslim community there declares itself a caliphate. Now, what would happen? They would say it's religious freedom to have that area of Michigan be under Islamic rule, and the government would submit to it, and the left is promoting it. Thing. There's no way, folks. Do you really believe we would take our government in, Alex, and drive them out of there? Shoot them if we had to? No. Let me ask you this question. Why mm -hmm. is there clearly a war on Christianity? Because, well, the war on Christianity has been around since biblical times, obviously. But what people but don't it's realize, back. Alex, I mean, even the UN admits it's doubled the yeah. last five years. <laughs> What happens is power. You see, Christians believe in the higher power being God. So we're not going to worship the state. That's right. That's it. We're not going to worship this global entity. We believe our father and the great giver of all things is God. Power people don't want that. Alex. Yeah, the God of this world wants us to worship a planetary power, not the God of the universe. You got it. It's the God That's of this why. world. It's the devil. We don't that's worship why. the little little God. We worship the real God. And that's why our government in America for years has eliminated religious crosses and Ten Commandments. They're getting rid of anything in the government and public area that has to do with Christ. But they allow any other religion from occultism to you name it to be promoted in school. You know, that one gets me. Now, you stumped the ban on that, Alex. Except, I believe, I believe the people that want to control us believe that if Islam is allowed to exist in a big way, Islam can be controlled, Alex. They're used to dictators and kings and Tyrant. Well, it's true. Historically, Christians overthrow dictatorships. That's right. So I don't think they fear, and they probably should. They're not really smart. But I don't think, Alex, they fear Islam like they do the freedom possessed by Christian. And freedom's called empowerment in Washington, Alex. And when I was there, buddy, you don't say that word. They don't hear empowerment. They don't want you to have your own money because if you have your own money, you can make your own decisions. They don't want you to worship some God or, or Jesus Christ that, that gives all things and, and tells you what to do and what not to do. They want you to worship them. And again, we saw a debate hearing my voice right now, as puny as I sound tonight. Anybody that hears my voice tonight, I challenge you. I guess there were 11 people, I don't remember. Did y'all hear one 
person on that stage refer to us as a representative republic?